Well, hello. Hello, darlings. Just going to wait and see how we do as people come to the stream. Hopefully we'll get a nice crowd. I thought it would be fun if we... Uh, All right, so I'll just wait for people to get in. But yeah, so I thought it would be fun if we got together and just did some card readings about the royal family for those of you who do uh, find the royal family fascinating. And I don't want people to be attacked on my channel uh, because they're interested in something. And I find myself doing that too, like... There's a huge crowd of people on my channel. They want to know what's going on with Trump every single day. And um, other people get annoyed with that. But So we just really want to honor and respect everybody's interest and try and make sure everyone's interests are satiated. Anyway, how is everyone? Hopefully you're doing well. So this is the get together for those of us who love following royal news. I have been a, a huge interest in the royals uh, with Princess Diana. That was when I got interested in the royals was Princess Diana. Not because I believe in royals, but because I thought she was a, a great humanitarian. And uh, I loved the idea of a nanny and a housekeeper uh, becoming a princess. She was kind of like a, even though she, her dad came from a wealthy to do family and uh, uh, she herself did not really have much of anything. And, uh, you know, I just thought that was cool. Cheers. Hi, Teresa Gillett. Thank you for joining us. Hi, E.E. E. Hi, Gretchen. Jackie. Jakim. Jakimchuk. Uh, Marjorie Harrison, thank you for being a member of the channel. It helps support the channel. Twin Mom, 1111. Thank you for being here. Rush, hi. Great to see you here. Thank you for being a member. MK Karen M, hi. Great to see you here. Uh, Liz L. Yes, loved Princess Diana. Catherine Lopez, thank you. Uh, oh, you uh, you did, did, oh, your stomach is better. Did you give yourself a carminative? Maybe uh, make yourself a chai. It's one of the things that can be very helpful for an upset stomach, you know, uh, is uh, boiling a tea bag, uh, just uh, any kind of black tea bag uh, with ginger and cardamom and fennel and uh, cinnamon and a little bit of clove. Um, yeah, can do great wonders for your stomach. I, I drink uh, chai several times a week and uh, it's often eaten after dinner to help with digestion. Oh, Crohn's disease, yes. We can see ileocecal valve resectioning in Crohn's. Uh, so this is the most common uh, resectioning we will see. That's where the ileocecal valve area and the appendix are both removed. A temporary colostomy bag is in, uh, put in and then uh, that is removed a couple of months later. So that could be why. That's one theory about where Kate is. Uh, she wants to wait until that is removed. Yes, cardamom, mm -hmm. Indian spice stores. And sometimes they have pre-mixes, but I make my own. Hi, Mark, good to see you here. Here's Mark Rose, the incredible, the incredible uh, popular publicist, yes. All right, let's do the impasse prayer and uh, let's try and figure out where in the heck is Kate Middleton and if she is okay. Is she in a coma? Is she brain dead? Have the kids not been told? Here's one theory. One theory is that they're publicly not announcing things because the kids have been sent somewhere or, and they haven't yet told the kids. Say she's brain dead. So that it's kind of like, um, you know, your dog went to go live in the country, right? 
you don't tell the kids right away what the situation is, particularly if there's a possibility that the person could come around, right? So one theory is that something happened and they haven't told the children yet. And so they can't tell us because they haven't told the children. Does that seem plausible? Yeah, it seems plausible. Uh, as plausible as anything else, right? Okay. Him has prayer. Okay. I want to call on white light protection for myself and this community as we ask permission from spirit to access the Akashic records. We call on our spirit guides and our good angels to be with us. Please give us the clarity and the wisdom that is needed to empower all of us on our journeys to make the best decisions for ourselves, our families, the planet, the people we love, but also to help those that we may have strife with. And together, collectively, we say, Amen. And I just really wanted to send prayers to Princess Catherine that she have a speedy recovery if she is uh, still recovering. And we want her to be well and to be healed. So sending heal healing to Princess Catherine. All right. So I think we're going to start with the... Um, we're going to start with the uh, Morgan Greer and we're just going to see where is Catherine and we're going to do a uh, Celtic cross spread. Where is Catherine? Where is the Princess of Wales? Where is she? Is she okay? You know, remember what the Duchess of Sussex said. She's a good person. Like, she's not a bad person. She may not be able to be free to say and do as she pleases, right? So we have to give people grace. We don't know the whole story. Uh, where she's at right now regarding her marriage there is some attempts here to heal or a rift in the marriage. So she is trying to take control over the marriage. Perhaps there were challenges in the marriage. Perhaps she was stressed out. She was overworked. She had a health crisis. If she had to have some serious surgery like bowel resectioning, that can take a couple months and then a couple months after that, uh, if you want to be a hundred percent. So, uh, where she's at right now, just reading the card straight, is two of cups, is a desire to come together in union, happy marriage. And the karma card is magician. So if she was sick, I think she could be uh, potentially feeling uh, better. Where she's at right now in deep meditation, four of swords. So is she in a coma? Well, she's in deep rest. Four of swords is a card. Uh, that often is associated with deep meditation. So she's in a very deep state of rest or meditation at this time. Um, her crossing card is one of grief. She has lost many things, but still something remains. Perhaps uh, because of her health problems, she is thinking about what she lost. You know, oh my gosh, I'm never going to have the health I had prior, right? Um, what is above her? She feels trapped. She could be feeling legally trapped. The Eight of Swords is a card that denotes uh, trapped red tape. So there's some kind of feeling here that she is legally trapped. What is below her is scholarship and thinking. So no, I don't think she's in a coma. I think she's resting. I think she is spending a tremendous amount of time thinking, studying. I think there's grief and unhappiness because maybe her health is not what it once was. She's also having uh, some, she's upset perhaps about her legal situation. She can't just run off and be 
the private citizen she was before she became a royal. So maybe she's feeling like a little trapped by her situation. I feel she has become an academic at this time. She really cannot do anything else but sit in her bed and get well. I feel that, you know, she's coming out of this eight of pentacles, which is to pound away at mastery. Uh, uh, again, uh, mastery here. If, if Kensington Palace says she's sitting on her bed, working and researching child neurosis, which is her passion, right? Uh, yeah, healing children with mental health issues. Uh, then I would say that that's precisely what she's doing. Uh, but she's also resting, four of swords. She does feel, definitely feel stir crazy and she feels like she is in jail. She feels trapped and she feels like she is in jail. So part of how, you know, her and William are both intellectuals. And so you get the impression when you go into this, this is somebody who uses her intellect in order to, you know, she cannot get, she cannot evade the fact that she is trapped uh, by her situation. Uh, legally, she feels trapped, uh, trapped by her physical restraints. So she retreats into her intellect and into her work. Um, where she's at right now, she will. She's going to come through this Ace of Swords uh, when Kensington Palace. When they were friends that had said she's going to be okay, but she needs rest. They're telling the truth because her seventh house is the Ace of Swords, and her Karma card is the Magician card. Both of which would be quite auspicious and would indicate that Kate is in fact going to be okay. Her opposition. Who is she having problems with right now? somebody who she has completed her karma with. So she's having issue with somebody who she is completing her karma with. So it could be true both that she's trying to heal rifts in her marriage, but that part of healing that could be the disillusionment of the marriage. So they uh, have this friendly, loving relationship but it could also be the end of the marriage. The hope and the fear at this time is the king. So she's genuinely worried about King Charles and I think she's genuinely worried about his health. Um, her final outcome, grief. Walking away from a battle she cannot win. She's walking away from a battle she cannot win. Why do I feel like it would be, uh, this looks to me like colon cancer, but but wouldn't, wouldn't he have had a colonoscopy prior? When would they, how would they have detected colon, colon cancer during a TERP? It doesn't make sense, but uh, you go into this energy, and this almost looks like something is going on, like a, a lesion in the uh, bowel with the king when you go into this. The only thing I can think of is that they must have done a... a, a a fecal test and detected blood uh, and then uh, done, done some additional testing or something. It must have been found incidentally, if that's true. But this almost looks like uh, colon cancer. Uh, but that's, you know, that's just my feeling energetically. I'll do a clarification on the uh, king uh, with the cards. But as it stands right now, she takes the weapons away from someone who she is currently battling with she will be victorious in that battle. Um, she was photographed in the photograph without her wedding ring. So Prince William is claiming he took the pictures but now it's the head is attached to someone else's body, 
right? So the body that they're using is too short, doesn't make any sense. So why would a short squat person, unless they'd been changing the shape, right? Somebody had been cutting and whatever, cutting and pasting. So somebody from the palace had said, well, maybe last week he did do it, but he also did the cutting and pay. You know, it doesn't make any sense. The other thing that doesn't make any sense is I took a close look at the tree and the tree is starting to turn yellow, which means it would have been September when that those pictures were taken, September, early October. So I don't know where they the royal family was around uh around September, I'd say late September. But that's probably when that picture, because you can see the yellow starting. So that was, that picture was taken at the beginning of start of the start of fall. Um, I think they're going to go. I mean, my my gut instinct is that she's going to be okay, but something else is wrong. So, are we looking at potentially a divorce? Like she has power over the mother too, so that could indicate that she may want power over her children. We can find out more about that. Who she's she has finished karmically with the fool. Her opposition is a fool. She's concerned about her finances. Um, let's take a look and see if they're getting a divorce. I can tell you with these cards that she appears to be on the mend and she's going to be okay physically, but I can't guarantee she's going to be okay in terms of her marriage. You see? Okay. So let's check on her marriage. It's interesting, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, is she getting a divorce? Well, when you're recouping, they take your rings off in the hospital. So if she was recouping in her bed, everything would have been handed over. You take everything off when you're in surgery. So prior to surgery, she would have removed everything. She was in bed. She was recouping. And then she got up and had her makeup on and they angled it in such a way so that if she did have a bag or something, you wouldn't see because it's dark. So maybe they did have to sketch some things out. Who knows what the reason was. Um, and then people went off on, on a conspiracy. That's a possibility too. But the point is, is that Reuters, the Getty issued a, um, alert and pulled the picture and said, this picture has been doctored. So when something like that happens, it's very serious. And yet uh, Kensington Palace is still standing by the picture. Uh, whatever is going to happen, Kate will get her wish. She is ecstatically going forward and she gets her wish. Uh, where she's at right now, she is traveling. It could be that she refuses to come out or that she is uh, protesting in order to have her needs met. In plain words, I'm not coming out until you agree, William, to ABC. So it's, it's uh, she's no lo I'm no longer the, the, going to be passively sitting back and letting William decide what happens in this marriage. I'm going to disappear, get well, and I'm not going to cooperate with anything from the palace until my needs are met. It could be that there's some kind of negotiation going on, but uh, foolish means she goes for what she wants, and the Nine of Cups would be an in indication that she gets what she wants. The chariot would indicate that she is traveling. It's interesting that they saw her in a car. And uh, traveling with her husband, the king is uh, 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 king of cups, which I would assume would be William. 
There's an Ace of Cups above here, which is love. And what she's sitting in is healing. So she's really focusing on her health and coming again out of victory and entering towards magician again power. So really great cards for her recovery. Um, where she's at right now is family secrets. There are some things that they want to remain secret. Her opposition has uh, a lot of strength. Hopes and fears is a future travel. And her final outcome is sobriety. There is a concern here about her daily habits, that she take care of her daily habits, that she is attempting to uh, build a new life for herself, and that this new life could potentially be uh, leading her towards a divorce, unfortunately. A new home somewhere else, and that she is divorcing. Um, and that's certainly not something that uh, we look, you know, we want to see when we go into cards, because we always want to believe that, you know, love is forever. And, um, the concerns here are that she has a family secret. She, you know, inside her home, she's building this new dynamic. But what also concerns me is that she has a new beginning. She fears an angry, violent man. And this gets me back to this concern, rumors that William can be mean at times. You know, both the boys have a temper. William and Harry both are known to have tempers. So, uh, particularly when they both drink. So, so uh, but anybody who, who has a temper should not be drinking. But uh, something about his temper led to the divorce. And that would make sense. Uh, nobody wants to be uh, in, in a, a, a situation with someone who's temperamental. But it does, unfortunately, uh, appear uh, that that is, in fact, the cause of the, uh, the divorce. Questions about that? <clears throat> Are people surprised by the cards? I'll clarify the cards now with some Lenormans. Let me go ahead and uh, take a look at what you folks are saying. Uh, roses and bees. Hi, David uh, Gresh. Great to see you here. Oh, uh, she went to sleep. I've been up eating. Oh, my God. I broke. I've been breaking my diet. Oh, I should be fasting at six. No, I went the other way. <laughs> I bought Pepperidge Farm. Chesapeake dark chocolate chocolate chip chunks. You don't want to know. And I found taco flavored Doritos, which I was telling you, know, you don't want to know. I, don't. I did the chai. Then I moved on to a coffee. Oh, boy. You don't want to know. Finished. I polished off the cookies today. I bought them yesterday and I finished the bag. You know what? I don't even know while I'm talking. I'm confessing. Yes. Uh, the uh, fake Kate pick is a disaster. I would totally agree with you. Uh, and, you know, if everything is fine in the family, then why would you do that? Why would you... Uh, and I don't understand why she can't take, it just doesn't make any sense. He says he took it. She's, uh, swollen after surgery ring doesn't fit. That makes uh, sense. Uh, but she had surgery in what was it? December and it's now March. So, um, that's unlikely that two, three months later, uh, that would be the case. Basis of marriage issues. Um, well, the picture is fake. So, and he's claiming he took it. 
and he's standing by that. So, um, yes, there's evidence something is not quite right in this this family. Um, <laughs> uh, let's find out. Let's just find out uh, what's going on with the picture. Going now with the Lenormand. Who produced it? Somebody clearly who doesn't know how to Photoshop, right? Whoops. So what does that mean? What does it mean? It means that maybe the prince needs to take Photoshop classes. You know, do the kids, are the kids being kept in the dark because it's serious? And is that why we're being kept in the dark? Okay, let's take a look. Right, what was going on with the picture? Who took it? Why was it photoshopped? Um, I think it's, uh, it's uh, well, uh, the composition or putting it together was William. Uh, two of uh, the swans, a message. There's a deep message in the picture. There's something strange going on. They're saying that something is about to be leaked about Prince William and it's some dark secret. And because he knows it's coming out, that's part of what's causing him to have this meltdown. There's a break, there's something breaking. Um, See here again, like another identity of him. There's a deep well coming regarding him. It's strange. Possibly palace leaks about William suffering from mental illness or other problems. He is as a child, you know, playful, mischievous, like a child. This is William, which is interesting. It's how they depict Harry. Could be both boys are like that. William, the mischievous child. Uh, his other two of cups. Uh, and also this... Uh, a bouquet, which would be almost like a desire to heal uh, things. However, it's the storks bringing the calla lilies of death. So this marriage is likely not salvageable. Um, and for that reason, it looks like he went through some old photographs, including possibly pictures from early fall. And he cut and spliced or had somebody do it. You see, like a fox. There's some deep work he has to do. And then here he is again coming out as the man who has the moon or lunacy over him. It could be that they are separating. And because they're separating, they will separate into camps. And there will be a Kate camp, just like there was a Princess Diana camp. And there will be a Prince William camp and they will duke it out. And that appears to be what's going on. So basically what the cards are saying 
is that Kate has a, has a, is a strong, healthy woman. You know, she takes good care of herself, thank God. But whatever was going on, Crohn's or whatever it was, this recovery will take a long time, but she will be okay. However, her marriage, it looks like it's in pretty serious trouble. These cards don't bode well for the marriage. In fact, I would say with death and the, uh, as the outcome with the um, uh, Morgan Greer and then the Kala Lilies of Death, when I checked with the Lenormand, I would say that it does not bode well for the marriage at all. William wants a divorce, and I would say that it's very possible that she now wants a divorce as well. If she's seriously ill, like on life support or something, I would have to say I would be very surprised because that would be, her cards would indicate that she is getting stronger and that she's in fact feeling better which can sometimes happen after bowel resectioning because if she was in so much pain, she wouldn't eat because it hurt to eat. You know, you're, you hurt, you are in physical pain with Crohn's, uh, which is why she was losing weight. First, she couldn't digest the food, but also you have pencil thin narrowing. So it is excruciatingly painful no matter what you eat. So she was probably down to eating broths and also a liquid diet, right? So uh, in a case like that, they have to go in and remove those narrow pencil-like uh, sections often in the uh, ileocecal area uh, and the appendix area. So people will actually gain weight and feel better after resectioning. But Ace of Swords in the seventh house is a very good omen, and it would indicate that she's actually improving now that she's come out of it. Um, Whereas her marriage is something entirely different. Her marriage, her marriage cards looked quite bad. In terms of his relationship with Rose, evidently there were pictures of them together at a pub a couple of weeks ago. That could be another reason why there's a lot of tension in their marriage because while she's recovering in a hospital, he's off with his girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, but let's go ahead and see, is there anything going on with William and his girlfriend, Rose? Yes, Rose Hanbury, a conservative. Protect those, protect those aristocrats. Yes, off protecting those aristocrats. Uh, you know, she's going to do everything to stand by the crown, right? Rose, right? Anything for the crown. And her cards are... She is laying low, my friends. She is laying low. Chariot would indicate she is out of the way. Full card would indicate, again... She is very, she is probably receiving hate mail. She is probably also thinking about someone like uh, Camilla in the sense that victory is hers in time. She has the job. Hmm. This is somebody who would want to get a job working so that she could be around her beloved, like potentially getting a position in court. Um, she spends a lot of time maybe waiting for him. She's, uh, this is a heartbroken woman who is in the wings. You know, the woman who waits by the phone, that's Rose. You know, you can see here, heartbroken, you know, for who the foolish king of hearts you know, he's a fool for love. I, I want to do the Lenormans with these two. And then uh, six of pentacles would be wealth and victory. It's almost like she wants to be patient, take the swords away from her enemies and gets the job. This is a woman who is sitting and waiting and she's learning how to wait. She's learning how to wait. So 
Uh, let's see about them together using the Lenormand. Very interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, it's disturbing, isn't it? Because Catherine gave so much, and now look at this new situation. So um, let's see about Rose. Wow, you know, uh, Prince William can become very cold with people. And he can become very cold with his mistresses, they say, which leads me to think he's had other girlfriends, you know, maybe before Kate. Maybe he and Kate had breakups. I know they were off again, on again. So maybe he had a few dalliances that were not serious. But one of the things they say about William is that he can be very cold with women. When he's done with you, he's done with you. This is like this attempt to communicate, put on a mask. And this kind of woman who is left in a maze, not knowing where she stands. And yet she's got this anchor here, which again would indicate a kind of tried and true loyalty but here comes the polar bear of of ice which uh leads me to think that he does not reward loyalty william does not reward loyalty in women you know they're they're willing to do anything for him and he's uh bored already and annoyed and he's ignoring uh, he is somebody who will ignore a woman uh, as a as an act of cruelty, also crack that whip. That's an act of cruelty. And here, the mask and the snake again, uh, reading the riot book over the maze, the law, uh, anchor, and then to uh, the ship that is anchored to him. Uh, the final outcome is the polar bear trying to get into the polar bear. She's trying to, Rose is trying to get in to the heart of that person who is not letting anybody in. I don't know how long Rose has been with him, but she is someone who has maybe, if, you, if I were asked as a psychic to give a profile, she is someone who has learned to beg for love, to, do, to be passive, to sit back and wait, to do what she's told because he's be I don't I can't guarantee she's going to be the next Camilla. He is being very cold with her. It's almost like he's embarrassed by her. That's what it's like. I don't know you. Did I sleep with you? Have you ever been with a uh, 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 dated somebody who acted like they were embarrassed to know you or embarrassed that they dated you? It's an interesting phenomenon, and it's usually when some guy is doing something he shouldn't be doing, right? But, um, like, he should not be cheating on Catherine, who is dearly loved by, by all, right? Um, and so he internalizes it, and then he appears to be taking it out on others because he knows he shouldn't be doing this thing. And so uh, he responds by being the polar bear in the relationship. Okay, so many of you were concerned about Prince or uh, King Charles, excuse me, I'm going to have to get used to that.
Um, yeah, I think they're either, you know, she is so willing to just wait. You know, she's just in a maze waiting, waiting for William. Uh, God, I would never want to fall in love with a guy. Can you imagine the, pow the power differential? You'd have no power. Yes, my king. No, my king. And then because you had no power, he would quickly grow bored with you, right? Because you can't. You know, he'd walk all over you and then he would hate you for his ability to walk all over you. And you'd try and be sweeter and sweeter and sweeter, with, which would make him, make him resent you all the more. Because what he resents is the fact that you will never be his equal. That's the energy of William. And so he resents these women. Who are you? You know, like this kind of uh, the Ice King or the, um, the polar bear. So, um, now we're going to take a look at King Charles health because uh, people have been very worried. How utterly boring. Well, you can see it said, where is Kate Middlin psycho like psychic live hangout. It's always odd to me that people show up. We've announced what this is going to be. And then they complain when they show up at our party. You don't have to be here. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I, I had it in the uh, description. It's for people who want to know about the royals. I find it fascinating. I find it fascinating to live in a gilded cage. I find the phenomenon fascinating. And I think the fact that it has historical significance I think what it teaches us about our own humanity is fascinating. The fact that people in Britain are in their own prisons subjected to this and they don't realize that they could tear this all down today and they would be better for it. But it's, but so many people are employed by the crown propping up this insanity. So they know it's insane, but because it supplies jobs, we continue to live in an insane world because this insane job is a job. What's your job? Well, I work at Kensington Palace. Oh, I work at Buckingham Palace. So what does that mean? It is my job to prop up this insanity. So every, the hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people that are employed that come together to prop up the insanity. So if they go, all these other people lose their jobs, which goes to show that the insanity needs to keep going and then they need to keep selling newspapers which also is profitable so all these people the reporters the people that that hype it up to get you to go chasing the paparazzi it's all hype to keep churning out a product because and all these people are financially invested in it so if you take it away you've taken away an income source for thousands of people from the paparazzi to the people who work in the palaces, you see, to the, the clothing designers. There you go. How are you doing, King Charles III? No idea what we're going to see. Um, good news. So he's doing well with his treatments. Um, he is pulling back on his charities. There was an inverted seven of pentacles. So he's pulling back on his responsibilities, but he has a wish card, which would indicate uh, that he's probably doing well with his treatments. Uh, again, another travel card. Boy, they must be, tra they must, oh, they're on holidays, right? They're going on holidays. Okay. Uh, his crossing card, Ace of Swords, whatever this is, he will likely be able to beat it. Uh, what is above him? Magician, also very auspicious. Uh, what he's sitting in, King of Swords. So this, he will be able to overcome this.
Are we sure this isn't a blood cancer like leukemia, adult leukemia or something like that? Like what if they had just found it in blood work or something? Uh, their Archangel Raphael is with them. Look at this King of Swords in the third house. He's very disciplined. This guy, look at this. And he's got a magician in his fourth house. He's entering into Ace of Wands. Boy, this guy's powerhouse. It's because he's into nature, man. I'm telling you, this is a granola man. He is really taking care of himself. Where he's at, he has new dreams. He dreams more things for the future. His partner, lovers. His partner is off doing something else with somebody else. This could be a tension between him and Camilla. Like she, he, Camilla is uh, fighting with the boys, right? They fight with Camilla because she's always dropping negative stories to the press. And then William complains to his father about Camilla, but she went on holiday. Maybe there was a huge fight between her and William. And then she goes off to go on holiday to just say, I quit for a week. But the lovers would indicate that she's off somewhere else with someone else. Hopes and fears the sun, sunnier days. And then he walks away from everything. He's going to be walking away from everything. His clarification, the church. There is a part of him that is like an Anglican priest. There is a part of him that he could see himself as an Anglican priest. That he could have had a life in the clergy as a Jesuit or as a, like as an Anglican. You know, this is somebody who is deeply intellectual, deeply spiritual, deeply ethical with the church. He is the head of the Church of England, you know. Um, him and the archbishop, right? So there's this, this uh, sense of responsibility. His partner is off with something else. Could be issues of sobriety and lovers. So it could be um, she has other temptations. The hope and the fear for him, his 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 loves his love and his final outcome he has heavy load ahead i don't see i don't see the king dying and i don't see him quitting because he looks to the future and heavy loads ahead so i would say based on that that king charles is not passing and he is not retiring Whew. A clempt, as they say. All right, so Harry and Meghan returning back to uh, the monarchy is the last one we'll do, and then we'll call it a night since we've been almost an hour. Goes fast, doesn't it? Hanging out. Thank you, everybody, for um, subscribing, uh, donating, uh, memberships, and everything else. It does really uh, make a difference. All right, so the last thing we're going to be doing... So we're looking at Harry and Meghan and whether or not they're going to be returning with any uh, duties. One of the things uh, that people are saying is that because of how badly they treated Meghan, she does not want to return back to a uh, Britain, but they might be willing to serve outside of Britain, you know, like outer outside duties, like, uh, you know, they'll work in Canada. They'll, but I mean, like, good God. I mean, if they don't do something with William, he sounds like he's just, oh, I really got some problems with anger and whatever. Uh, Harry went to therapy and William doesn't like therapy. So that's also the difference. But um, okay, let's see if they're going to be returning to the royal fold. Hi, Jack. Good to see you here. It's a nice, uh, nice smile there. Well, the queen is gone. 
According to what the card suggested uh, or the remote suggested, William had forbid Kate speak to that woman. There was, she initially offered to help, but when things got tense, one of the reasons why she wasn't returning Megan's calls was because William didn't want her speaking to her. That's how angry William was at Megan. Um, they get their wish in time. So all they have to do is just wait it out. Things will, things will be worked out in time. From the perspective of the royals, they feel really betrayed, like that you aired this dirt. It just feels weird having you come back when you've trashed the institution. Why would you serve the very institution that you've trashed? It's an awkward thing when the book is out. Um, it looks like there's going to be a trip to uh, Britain in the future. And there is going to be some partnership that is going on. Two of Wands is coming. Uh, they will be asked to put their differences aside for the good of the crown. For the good of the monarchy, their personal issues will have to be put aside because you can see here William coming in and then some mediation has to take place to a wand. Bottom line is your personal issues, very betrayed in the past. Ten of Swords, uh, William feels very, very betrayed. The family feels that you just ran them through the coals. Uh, and William and others feel very misrepresented. So how it goes, they feel like their privacy has been stolen and their private secrets and misrepresented. It was their stories to tell. That's what they're saying. You went into our private di diaries. You told our private stories. They were our stories to tell, and you didn't tell them accurately you put your spin, which is the kind of irresponsible thing you've always done because you've been irresponsible since you've been born. You've never had the responsibilities that I've had, William. And this is the kind of crap you've pulled your whole life. And I told you, if you do this, you can consider our relationship finished. You went ahead and did it anyway, because that's the kind of impulsive person you are. So this is the kind of dynamic I feel and this sense of betrayal as William in a sense that I've been stolen from, that something very personal. All I have as a royal is this little tiny bit of privacy, part of me that's private, and you've you're taking away something very important to me. Um, the job, they're being offered some kind of a job. Uh, mediators are suggesting that they take it slow, that it should be a very slow introduction back. Six of Swords would indicate things uh, are returning slowly back into the fold. Six of Pentacles would be would be that they would be paid uh, security, uh, likely. Six of Pentacles is to assist and its service work. It's also to be employed in service. And then the final outcome for them, uh, in service to the poor, which is pretty much what Megan's um, uh, main purpose was, uh, service to the poor. His is service to the dis uh, disabled, Invictus Games, etc. Hers is uh, helping uh, women uh, come out of poverty, specifically women. Um, but their main service work is focusing on the poor. Also, they have Archangel Michael as their Archangel working with them, which is very auspicious. I would say, yes, they would be returning back, but it will happen very, very slowly, and that some kind of mediation is happening, and that there is this need uh, that they have to uh, communicate and begin to talk about each other's uh feelings of betrayal and that this process is beginning with uh, palace mediation. That's what it appears. And it's good. This would be a desire for them to work in service. I like this very much. This is a great juxtaposition, by the way. It's what you wanna see is someone serving those in need. 
Yeah, they're coming back, but it's gonna it's gonna be a very slow thing. And the reason why is that William need they need to reestablish trust. That is what they say. So I guess they'll be at the Trooping of the Colors. That will be the first time coming back. It's weird, you know, because the book and the Oprah thing. So it's weird. So I get, I get, I get everybody's side because it's my job. It's my job to 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 see everyone's side. So I see what it's like to feel betrayed and to feel like your private stuff and that you didn't have a right to defend yourself and all these people are calling you names and uh it would be hard for me to come back and trust my brother after that at the same time i have to think about what's good for the nation because it's not my own personal thing i'm the future king so i got to get over it so 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 that's basically uh what it looked like The press don't like them because the press have been told not to like them. So the press are going to be told to start liking them because the stories leaked are going to start leaking to defrost it. They're, it's a very slow process, though. It's not going to happen overnight. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, that was fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed uh, a little fun gossip as well. And of course, we don't want anyone hurt. We're praying for Princess Catherine, uh, that she receive a speedy recovery and that everyone is healthy and happy. All right. Be kind to all so that all will be kind to you too. If you're trying to get in for a tarot reading with me by phone, the information is below. And if you're trying to get in for a telemedicine appointment with me as a naturopathic doctor, that information is also below. Uh, take care, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.